we had a lot of injuries today. I don't, uh, hopefully none of them were serious, but a lot of offensive linemen went out. And, um, some highlights I picked up, uh, Logan Wilson picked off a pass and went uh, for an interception for a touchdown. He looked really fast and very athletic. A Cooper Ross stroked a 57-yard field goal, which was great. And I think um, quarterbacks continue to battle. Um, had a little bit of mix, uh, mix-ups and some things in the running game we're going to have to straighten out. But I think some of that can be uh, attributed to we're getting really good uh, defensive line play by Ravante Holton, Jabari Jackson. So we're encouraged about that. So that being said, any questions? Hey, with those offensive linemen, were there tackles or was it across the board? Or? Uh, Logan uh, Harris went down. And I'm trying to think who else. We're down to eight linemen now. I know that, but we continue to practice. Mm -hmm. When did you find out about Gavin? Um, he's about a day or so ago. You know, right. once once the MRI came back. I mean, once they get in there, they're really going to find out. But I think there's quite a bit of collateral damage in there. When did when did he when will he have surgery? Do you know? Um, I think he's going in on the ninth. How's, how's C.J. Johnson coming back from that knee injury? I know he was close to playing the, uh, last year. but Knee injury's fine. Mm -hmm. he's, he had a bone bruise on his ankle, so that's held him back a little bit. But he's out there competing, made some nice catches today. Mm -hmm. Do you sure. like what you're seeing from the quarterbacks? Yeah, yep, sure do, yeah. Craig, with, with Tyler Hall going back to cornerback, in and that nickel, I know he's covering, you know, like speedy slot receivers. Is right. that a big switch as far as – Relearning stuff, or is that really that big? Or is it? Is oh, it a big? It kind of is a big deal, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and uh, so that's where, you know, we just felt like he he added so much on the outside, and we're looking at Keon. Uh, Keon's another guy that went down today. We had two hamstring pulls today, and Keon uh, Blankenbaker went down, but he's been doing a good job at nickel. Mm -hmm. Outside of Elijah at safety, how do you see some of the other guys that are competing for those spots? Oh, I think we'll know a lot more once uh, once we scrimmage. You know, sometimes those safeties have got to make plays when they're being contested in open space. So I'll reserve judgment till after that. You mentioned Ravante and Javari, you know, and they played football for you. How's is there any guys coming up behind them or at least showing showing a few things that, that you've liked so far this spring? Um, I would say there's a little bit of a gap. We'll have to see who closes the gap. With all the injuries up front, do you, do, will you keep – Zach outside, are you moving back to guard, or will he just kind of alternate still? Well, we're going to have a discussion about that tomorrow, staff meeting. Yep. What about running back? What are you seeing from those guys? Well, I, I think X is the guy that's really showing great promise. Uh, Double B from uh, uh, Natrona Counters. Natrona County is really doing a good job too. Do you expect one? Do you want one of those guys to emerge, or might it be a kind of a running back by committee? Um, I think right now, um, X has kind of got the edge. Yep.